Hello, David. Hello, Nadira. David, can you tell us what does risk-based uh, decision-making mean? Organizations make decisions all the time, uh, from top-level strategic decisions, through operational decisions, through project decisions, investment decisions, recruitment decisions. All the time we're making decisions. And it's important for us to make decisions well if our businesses are going to succeed. But decisions are only required in some circumstances. So you only need to make a decision where something is uncertain. So do I dis decide, do I need to decide uh, if the sun is going to shine tomorrow? Of course not. You know, I know the sun will shine tomorrow. Do I need to decide uh, if I need to clean my teeth in the morning? Of course, I always need to, to clean my teeth. Uh, there are things which are not uncertain, so they don't require a decision. And then there are simple, trivial things which don't need a decision. They're, 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 they just don't matter. So should I wear my black socks or my grey socks? It doesn't matter. You know, I have grey socks, I have black socks. As long as I wear some socks, it's fine. Yes. Um, uh, shall I have the chicken or the beef for lunch? It, they're both good, it doesn't matter. I don't really need to decide. So the decisions that we make in our business have two characteristics. There's something to do with uncertainty. We only need to make a decision if there are options. If there's this or this or this, then we have to choose. If there's uncertainty, we need to make a decision. And we only need to make a decision where the outcome matters, where if we didn't decide, there would be a problem, there would be something missing. So decisions are required in the context of uncertainty that matters. Now that sounds familiar. Uncertainty that matters is our description of risk. Yes. A risk is an uncertain event that if it occurs will affect objectives. It's uncertainty that matters. So the only decisions that we really need, really need to take in an organisation are risky decisions, which are to do with uncertainty that matters. So we should have decision making which is informed by risk assessment that we understand the risks which could affect this decision we understand the uncertainties and why they matter so that within that context we can make a good decision so risk-based decision making is making the decisions that we need to make at all levels of the organization recruitment decisions strategic decisions investment decisions and so on where there is uncertainty and where it matters where there is risk and being aware of the risks that relate to that decision to inform the decision as we take it that means that we need to understand how risks affect the decisions that we're about to take we need to have a robust and, and a reliable risk process where we can assess those risks and then a communication into the decision makers so that they have access to the risk information they need when they're going to make a decision. So the risk specialists, the people who have, who have the responsibility for understanding and managing risk uh, and assessing risk and communicating it, need to be able to speak to the decision makers at all levels. The chief executive of a company needs to have a risk advisor uh, who will speak to them to say, when you're making a strategic decision, these are the factors you need to consider. These are the uncertainties that matter to this strategic decision. If you're a project manager on a project, you need to have somebody who will help you understand what are the risks that could affect your project and why they matter. If you're in the HR department and you're recruiting a new manager, you need to understand the uncertainties around that recruitment and why they matter. And so somebody should be helping you to understand your risk. Um, as part of that, it's important that everybody in the organisation who takes decisions is what we might call risk literate, who understands the concept of risk, who understands why it's important, and who has the skills to assess risk and use that to, to help them make their decisions. But because decisions are only about uncertain things which matter, they are always about risk. And we need to inform the decisions with risks, which makes it risk-based decision-making. Thank you, David, for the information. You're welcome. Thank you.